you know, I actually learned a lot while compiling the story, including the fact that the sun actually rotates much like the Earth does, and that there are bursts from the sun that take days to reach the world, and that's exactly what happened. A burst called a coronal mass ejection took until Thursday to arrive, and that's what caused us here in Colorado to be able to see the northern lights. But while that is a beautiful spectacle, it's not always a good thing. If you haven't been on social media in the last 24 hours, let me catch you up. Pictures from around Colorado coming in of the stunning Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, from Telluride to Boulder, from Eaton to Jackson Lake State Park. Stunning images commonly only seen far north of here, a view many have never seen before. What did you guys see last night? Uh, we, we saw, saw the, the Northern, Northern Lights. Lights. But for us, really all around was like pink with a little clouds covering it. Now Dylan, we had a massive what's called geomagnetic storm. This magnetic disturbance around our planet that hits severe levels and that also is what excites to life the aurora that everybody's talking about from overnight. Sean Dahl works locally with the Space Weather Prediction Center and explained what's called a coronal mass ejection. It's basically explosions from the sun heading out into space in the form of all these energetic particles from the sun and they excite to life the molecules that already exist up there and emit light, and that's what we see as the aurora. The CME causing people of all generations to get outdoors and look up, including my own nephews. What do you think? It was I, exciting. It was exciting to see. Usually it's all black with stars, and instead there is like this big area where there was a lot of pink. While it's beautiful, it's not necessarily a great thing, right? That's right, Dylan, it's not, because it affects our technology from the satellite operators to the electric power grid that we all rely upon, aviation industry, GPS users. You doing stories like this is tremendously helpful because it gets the general public smarter about space weather and its implications, not just the fact that it's producing this beautiful aurora. Now, while it's not good for communications and other technologies, the good news is there is no human health impact with these CMEs. We also know while we have about another year of these peak experiences coming down toward Colorado, after that's up, it'll be another 10 to 12 years before we have similar experiences. Reporting live tonight in Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, we'll make sure and get out and enjoy them while we can, Dylan. Thank you. Dylan isn't just your reporter in Northern Colorado. He lives there. And the stories that impact you impact him, too. If you have a story idea, you can always reach out through CBSColorado.com or by calling our tips line.